hello everybody and welcome to another youtube video and in today's video we are going to be using the ibm spss to model the concept of the poison distribution we've actually done this in the last video using uh, microsoft excel uh, you might actually want to check out our video for a bit of more context okay uh, in that video we use the example of the fact that uh, in two minutes five cars were actually passing through the gates of a university and we used microsoft excel to model the probability of success based on the number of cars that are going to be passing through the school gates within that two minute time interval so in today we are going to be using ibm spss to actually model that situation so the first step is for us to get the success that will be attached to uh, the experiment as a whole or the distribution so we can actually uh, create a new variable right here uh, we target as success excuse me all right so this is going to be success all right so we click on enter uh there's not supposed to be zero decimal places all right so we come there so the success is going to be the number of cars from zero down to 20. so we have zero right here we have one we have two So we have all of the success attached to the experiment from zero down to 20. So that means the number of cars that can actually pass through the school gate at zero, at one, at two, down to 20. So we need to calculate the probability of success attached to each of those. Okay, that is the chance that zero cars will be passing through the school gate in two minutes. One car will be passing through the school gate in two minutes, two cars in two minutes down to 20 cars. And to do that, to calculate the probability, you know, we actually have to come to the transform and compute variables and we are met with this dialogue okay it asks us to name our target variable and i'll just be using uh probability uh then i'm going to be using uh poison all right so p poison okay so um after doing that we have to come right here to the function group uh, we can click on all so it's i wanted to bring all of that to us so we need to get the pdf that defines a poison distribution so we have to locate pdf then locate the poison so uh there's a pdf then poison should be somewhere around here all right here we go and once you click on that it actually brings this information and uh the pdf of the poison is dependent on qunt that is the quantity which is the x or which is the success and the mean which is the fixed rate at which the event is occurring so our success is actually from zero down to 20 or we can say that our quantity is from 0 down to 20 and the mean in this case is the fixed rate at which the event is actually occurring and we said that that is um two minutes uh, in two minutes rather five cars actually passed through the school gate so that means our mean or our lambda is actually equals to five so we can double click on this and it takes it right here then it's actual for the success that we can just use this to take the success right there okay and we've taken the success down to this place and for the next uh question mark which is the mean that's actually five okay and uh, once you do that you're good to go you click on okay and uh, it runs the code okay it executes the code and when you come back to your data it has calculated it has calculated the probability for you rather so i would like to keep this in like four decimal places. so what i have to do is to come to the variable view and uh, take this down to four decimal place and uh, i'm good to go and now we've gotten the uh, the probability for individual successes and uh, it only makes sense for us to like visualize this okay um so we can come to graph come to chart builder you can use it at the bar chart or the scatter plot i used scatter plot in excel so i'm using a scatter plot right here so we have the scatter plot and then i double click on this uh, so on the x axis i will be having the success and on the y axis i'll be having the probabilis probabilistic value right there, okay i really don't need to do anything really spectacular so i click on okay it runs the code and it's actually visualized uh the distribution for me now i can actually go as far as editing this uh, i double click on that and then i can actually add uh the line exactly exactly yeah, exactly so that's okay that's fine by me i can um, you know also remove the dots i think i can remove the dots exactly yeah all right let's try to remove the grid line first okay remove the grid line hide grid lines and then i think this is fine 
I was planning on removing the dots, but I think it's actually okay. So this is how you can uh, visualize the probability distribution that defines a Poisson with the fact that uh, lambda is equal to five. So how about the cumulative density function like we did with Excel? So all we have to do is to also come here and uh, is to come to transform rather and then compute variable. And this time we are going to be using so we can clear this or we can also clear this and then we look for cdf poison so that should be somewhere up that right here exactly we'll double click on that uh so we can see the cdf poison okay and uh, it asks for the same quantity and the same mean and uh, our quantity is going to be uh the success okay and our mean is going to be five and then i guess we are good to go click on ok it runs the code it executes the code and uh, we can come back to the data and here we have it all right so let's actually you know get this to like for the small place yeah for the small place uh variable view and uh, this goes to four all right so we're good to go then we can actually visualize this also we can use come to graph charts builder and uh, this time we take out the success okay sorry the success remains here and then we take that we take out the p poison rather and then we bring in the cdf right here okay i will click on okay and uh, this is the shape as usual then you can actually edit this remove the grid lines i love removing the grid lines i don't know why and then we can add this interpolation line exactly i'm trying to see if i can delete the dots okay let's see oh that works fine all right so that's actually it's i was trying to delete the dots but i don't know okay excuse me let me add this all right so all right let's see all right yeah i can delete the dots and uh you know this is it right here so depends on you how you want to like edit your visuals your scatter plots and you're good to go so this is how you use the ibm spss to actually model the concept of a poison distribution if you learned something new from this video and you actually enjoyed this video please don't hesitate to give this video a like and also subscribe to this youtube channel thanks for making it to the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one bye for now